little quick. The heels to get down, get set. You no know, five stepping with front. Bring everything around. Bring everything around the same time. Keep working back. Hey. Gary grew up in Miami, played at Miami Northwestern High School, storied program. Why do so many good players come out of the Miami area? You know, I think it's because uh, during the time I grew up, we had a lot of players came through. We played the game all the time in the streets. You know, we constantly at the school, reps, 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 playing from sun up to sundown. And um, for me, uh, I watched guys that came before me, the Melvin Brattons, the Brett Perriman, the guy that grew up in my area. You know, and I always try to emulate those guys. So when you got those childhood uh, heroes, guys you can reach, reach out and touch, it kind of makes that, that goal, your dream, a reality. And it kind of drives you to be the best. Who gave you the nickname Flea? You now going back to high school at Northwestern, everything was, was pretty much what we call live reps. And uh, the coach told me to go back and fill a punt. You know, I was fortunate to catch it and probably run it with fear. Um, and was able to take it all the way to the house. And next thing you know, they just say, hey, we got a flea on our hand. And it just stayed from high school, all the way through college to the NFL, into my coaching career. You played at Howard University. You still hold the all-time and single game record for catches, part of the school's Hall of Fame. Yes. At a historically black institution. What does that mean to you to be in that Hall of Fame? Coming out of my, my Northwestern, I had a chip on my shoulder. I was the number one receiver in the county. Uh, I got overlooked by many schools. So to go there, with a goal, with a purpose, and to finish in four years uh, with a degree, start off four years, and end up leaving their all-time receiver, receiving the history, which was a great accomplishment for me. So today, I still hold that record, and I always look back at it, all the hard work that was put into me, and all the things that driven me to, uh, to, be, the, to be the best. The city of Miami actually gave you a proclamation, Gary Harold Day. Yes. What was that like? You know, I had a friend of mine, Tony Crapp, uh, who worked down in the city of Miami, and he kind of informed him all, all the things that I'd accomplished over my career. And they was very honorable enough to, uh, to grant me with that proclamation. And, and my kids, I mean, to the day, for some reason, they always expect a parade on that certain day. So I told them it's not to that magnitude. So it's a great honor, something that I can hold on for the rest of my life. When you hit that four step, boom. Oh. I don't want them baby steps. On that four step, let's go. Oh. Oh. That's better. You went back and coached Howard for five seasons. What's the main thing you took out of that head coaching experience? Um, just the experience. You know, I always wanted to be, uh, I never really thought about coaching. 2002, I got into it. An old coach of mine asked me to come coach the wide receivers at Howard. I fell in love with it. I moved around and built my resume. I knew at that time I wanted to be a head coach, so I became an offensive coordinator at Division II school. And when the opportunity presented itself, you know, I always tell your kids today, make sure you create a brand for yourself. Make sure you keep your name clean for that opportunity to come. And when it do come, you're ready and you're prepared for the opportunity. You and Kevin Smith, both Miami guys, how important is that to have that Miami connection for FAU to be able to recruit in Dade County? This is great, you know, that one-two punch, you know, I. I take care of the northern part of Dade County, take care of the southern part because our relationships and experience in those areas. And when we can be able to go back to those areas, uh, the things that we've been through as uh, high school kids and the coaches that now coaches there, either we play with them or against them, you know, we can, we're can able to go back and not only tell them uh, where they're going, but you know, because we walk in those same footsteps, we tell them where they're going to. And we build that trust relationship that makes it easier to get kids to come here. Watch that. Watch that. One, two. Hey, catch it, though. Don't be surprised when you catch it. Be ready to make a move with it. Great route, great route. Now, anytime you make a transition from high school to college, college to NFL, the game always gets faster and faster. So you have to make sure that, yes, you were the guy where you came from in your program, but we have a much larger group of guys that's fighting for the same position of guys you're going against. So you have to focus on being disciplined, the basic fundamentals and being coachable and every day come out and compete and have that motivation. And the most important thing is love the game, have the passion and pride for the game. Run, 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 run. Flat though, flat, a little flatter. Hey, when you put, you got to punch and kick here.